So I want to tell you a quick story, another story about a person getting robbed by another roofing contractor for over $50,000. I came in with a price of 26, he tells me I'm way too high, he comes in a price at 26, but takes $3,000 off to get the job, and come to find out, the job wound up costing them over 50 something thousand dollars. The reason I know this is because the customer's son, well the person's son calls me and says, Joe, I don't feel good about this installation that we got, I can see daylight, I can see missing shingles, it doesn't feel right to me, can you come inspect it for me? All right, so I'll do that. So I charge him an inspection fee, a service fee, to come out there and look at this other contractor's work that got the job over us. Again, I always take full responsibility. I couldn't show this person the value in using me over them. They wound up going with the cheapest option, and now it wound up costing them over $50,000. And I'm going to go to this roof right now. I'm going to show you what's going on up there and how this contractor took advantage of them. All right, so I'm up on this roof where this customer had this issue with this other contractor. I really want to blow this contractor up because come to find out, he told this homeowner he was changing all the plywood. Once the roof was ripped off, which would have been about 90 sheets, he charged him 25,000 extra for that and only changed 10 sheets. This is the roof. So this customer wound up paying $50,000 for this roof. It's leaking, there's missing shingles. The guy didn't do anything he said he was gonna do. He basically robbed them. So here's some of the things that's going on. These chimney flashings all should have been changed. You can see he just put tar around it. It's still leaking in the attic right now, right? You have missing shingles here on the ridge. You can see daylight from the attic looking up, okay? I can't really show you this on video, but the pattern of how they install these shingles is completely wrong. It probably won't last more than six years, okay? Didn't change any of the accessories, look. None of the accessories got changed. This vent's installed improperly. Check this out. None of this got changed. Job started off at 23,000. This guy ripped the roof off and charged them an additional 20 something thousand. They ended up paying $50,000 for this roof and it's leaking, there's missing shingles and it's not gonna last more than eight years. It sucks really sucks there's another issue that downstairs um, on the soffits i'll show you that so this person had wood soffits before so the air couldn't go in so they wanted vented vinyl soffits which it seems like they did but they didn't take out the wood from underneath there so now the, this is useless right not only did they not do that they didn't even use the right parts to install it on the edge here also there's no edge here to hold up this edge so this is going to all fall down the whole house so now all this has to be redone another thing that should have been done was this wood here you see how it's rotting this molding had to come off so they can put the proper piece to attach the soffit to. And then this should have been capped in aluminum to stop the outside elements from wearing it down anymore. Look, I don't need to tell you the moral of this story, okay? Um, it's pretty obvious. So, but I would say this guy has no online presence. They're trying to call him to get in touch with him. They don't even want to deal with him, right? So they're just going to accept the fact that they just wasted $50,000. Now, they could have invested twenty six. dollars but instead they wasted 50. It's sad, really. I'm not happy about this. It doesn't give me any sort of satisfaction to know that they got because they didn't use me. I wish it didn't happen. But what makes me angry is that this guy's gonna go do this to more people. He's probably, of course, he's already done it to everybody. This is how he operates, right? And this, the sad reality is, this is what goes on out there. This is like, I, I, I rarely know any good contract. There's like a handful of good roofing contractors that I can name that I'm direct competitors with that I run into their estimates all the time and it's fine like there's plenty of business for everybody I support everybody but there is way more of these guys than there is reputable contractors and this is a big problem a big problem okay so that that's what makes me angry about it. you got to do is do your research look up a reputation buy off of that don't buy off the price because I'm telling you there's companies out there that do this every single day they'll rip your roof off they'll rip your house apart and they'll say hey John Jim Kim it's an extra this, it's an extra that, it's an extra this. They'll make your life a living hell. I see it every single day. And every week I rip off a brand new roof, a roof that's five years old or less, eight years old or less due to this. 
I can't advocate against this enough and it's sad that I just can't let every person know about this because it's gonna keep happening and what should I do about it? What should we do about it? Let me know.